Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and continuing on once again with the Muppets Marathon. Now, we're reviewing Muppets Most Wanted. That's right, Muppets Most Wanted. What do I have to say about Muppets Most Wanted? What do I think of it, etc.? I love it! I love Muppets Most Wanted. I think it's really good, and for it being a sequel to, uh... The, the last Muppet film, The Muppets. And I think originally at one point it was to be titled The Muppets again, I, I'm pretty sure. But of course, it's Muppets Most Wanted. And uh, of course, it basically, the movie starts pretty much where we left off after, you know, the, the, the Muppets had ended, you know. And I just love it because when it opens after the castle logo shows, it shows, it shows the fireworks, you know, making the words, The End. And we, like, get a cameo, I guess, of Gary and Mary. Basically, and pretty much not Jason Siegel and Amy Adams, pretty much. That's just body doubles, that is, for them. Uh, stunt doubles, basically. Um, of course, like, uh, the opening song number, we're doing a sequel. That's a good song, too. Um, and I just love that moment in there, like, when Gonzo says, While they wait for Tom Hanks to make Toy Story 4. And yet... I guess in some ways Gonzo predicted Toy Story 4 because it was, I think, I remember, if I remember correctly, it was announced, I think, a year, a, uh, just like a, later on in that year that Toy Story 4 was announced in, so, you know. Um, but anyways, uh, and of course, with the, with the cast of uh, guest stars and celebrities, like Ricky Gervais, um, you know, he's really good because um, he, uh, we find out later that he's the bad guy, like he's number two. You know, I'll explain more. Ty Burrell, if I'm saying him right, you know, he plays that uh, French uh, agent or something like that, along who works alongside with Sam the Eagle. Um, Tina Fey as Nadea, if I'm saying it right, you know. Uh, she's good, too. Uh, of course, we get the uh, date. We, of course, see that we get the appearance and debut of Constantine, you know, I am Constantine, you know. Hi, oh, Kermit the Frog here, you know, impersonating Kermit. Um, Kermit in this, he's pretty good too. Like, um, you know, kind of bit of um, uh, exhausted or like stressed or something. And uh, you know, um, even like the Mupp. Uh, what do I want to say? Like all the Muppets, they like basically they're like they like what uh, Ricky Gervais character is like going for, etc. Um, even like okay, and like later on, Kermit uh, is out somewhere, and like he gets mistaken for Constantine after like he dis he puts like a mole, like a disguised a fake mole, and such a Kermit's a a wart or mole, I forget what it is, you know, wart basically um, puts it on his face and is mistaken for Constantine. He gets. He gets taken to jail by mistake. Constantine disguises himself as Kermit. The Muppets fall for it. Although for Animal, it's pretty obvious because Animal, he knows that that's not Kermit. You know, like, bad frog, bad frog, you know. That's funny. Um, and so, um, also, because, like, the Muppets, because of their worldwide tour, you know, um, from Mexico to, I guess, yeah, Paris, etc., um, yeah, some funny stuff here and there, and with their song numbers, oh yeah, even, like, with Constantine and, um, and, of course, Ricky Dravis, you know, I am number one and you are number two, I forget how it really goes the tune and everything, but, you know, uh, even, like, uh, we get the appearances of, like, uh, of course, like, 80s robot Rizzo the Rad, Pepe the King Prawn, I'm a bit of a shame because, like, Okay, like, Pepe the King Prong, he appeared in the last Muppet film, The Muppets, but for only one scene, he was, like, basically Miss Piggy's dance partner, and that was it. I mean, he does appear a little bit more, a little bit more in the second one, but Rizzo the Rat, not that much, and I don't think he even appeared, I didn't even see him in The Muppets, which is weird. I love Rizzo, you know, one of my few favorites. Um, and I think, I remember correctly, like, even Robin the Frog, Kermit's nephew, appeared in there as well. Yeah, he did. Um... And there's the thing, because, like, with Muppets Most Wanted, there are, there are two versions, like, the theatrical version and the director's cut, etc., you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but, um, anyways, so, even, like, Constantine, like, I want proposing to Miss Piggy, etc., although, you know, she thinks it's Kermit, but it's not, so, you know, uh, proposing to her on stage during one of their world tour shows, 
Um, also, like, of course, at the end of the film, they get, you know, because they are, they're at the tower. Well, they're at Paris. They get married. They have their wedding at Paris, etc. Um, I remember one point, I remember, one, like, okay, like, Walter and Fozzie, they find out that Constantine, you know, Kermit was Constantine, you know? And even, of course, Animal knew the whole time. Walter, Fozzie, and Animal, they go off to rescue and find Kermit, you know, at the jail and such. I think it's Rush... The Russian jail or whatever, you know. Oh, I even remember that Tom Hiddleston made a cameo as one of the as one of the prisoners, which is funny. Even Miss Boogie was one of the prisoners as well. Like, wow, what'd she do, you know? Um, Chloe Bennett, uh, not Chloe Bennett. Well, what's her face? Uh, like, she made an appearance, like giving the newspapers. Her first name, God, you probably should know who I'm talking about, but you know. Yeah. Anyways. Um, and also, like, Kermit Fozzie, yeah, well, basically, like, even Kermit, like, puts on a show and such, like, helps, uh, rehearse and, like, for, you know, for a show and such at the, at the jail and such. Even Nadia, we kind of see that Nadia has a love crush, has a crush for, a crush on Kermit, basically. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Kermit, Fozzie, Walter Namel, they make their way out of there, they make their way back to the Muppets, the rest of the Muppets. I uh, remember one point as, you know, like, Fozzie pretends to be a throw rug and Kermit pretending to be the reflection of Constantine the Mirror, basically. It's funny. I even like how at one point Kermit pretends to act like Constantine, you know? And what's funny is that Matt Vogue, who play, who performed and played Constantine, he would later go on to be, to perform, to be the next uh, performer and, and voice of Kermit. You see the math there, what I'm trying to say? It's funny, it's funny. Now now that you, now that you think of it, so, you know, now that you think of it, because, you know. Um, and also, I remember, like, at the wedding, because the same hobos from the first one, what's-his-face? Um, Uncle Deadly and uh, Bobo, they're, like, playing the piano and organ, slash, well, basically organ, that is. Um, and I remember one, I remember Janice said, you know, oh, well, like, I totally knew he'd get code flippers. <laughs> it's funny. Like, back and forth, like, Crum and Constantine taking their place such. But then out of nowhere, of course, both of them are right there in front of this piggy and, <gasps> you know, and just, two Kermits! Well, no, I think, no, Scooter says it. Two Kermits? Uh, uh, Constantine, well, Miss Piggy, you know, p you know, attests one of them, like, you know, you know, Kermit, would you marry me? And Constantine, like, yes, of course, I'll marry you, and... Kermit asks the real Kermit, and, like, well, I need, and, you know, Kermit, it's the real, like, she knows it's that Kermit. Like, the Kermit that Constant, Constantine is that Kermit, as pretending to be Kermit, it was way different than how Kermit is, you know? Constantine kidnaps Piggy, takes her up to the helicopter, the Muppets, they grab a hold of the helicopter, Constantine and Bo, and Ricky Jarevis's character, also, you know, number two, the lemur, that is, they get arrested, Sam the Eagle and Ty Burrell's character, you know, they, uh, Jean, what's his last name? That's his character's name. They say their goodbyes, etc. I'm quite emotional. Uh, Tina Fey, Nadia's, you know, her character, Nadia, they, she, like, arrests Kermit, etc. But yet Walter and the others, they, they were wrong about Kermit. They'd stand up for Kermit, etc. But then Nadia lets Kermit go. And at the end of the film, you know, final song number, you know, a new edition of Together Again, and yet we see, like, all the ki the celebrities who made an appearance in, in, who made their appearances throughout the movie, stuck on the wall and such, you know, um, and then, you know, <laughs> at, right before the words, the end show, like, Kermit says, okay, Nadia, now this is your, uh, singing solo or whatever, and right as she's about to sing, the screen cuts to black, and I don't think, no, the words the end, I don't think show, but, like, the last words we hear, you know, from her, like, Kermit! And then, of course, the credits roll, the credits show, we see fireworks that resemble the Muppets, you know, and a bit of funny moments here and there during when the credits scroll up, so, you know. But Muppets Most Wanted, yeah, I gotta say, I think it's pretty good. I love it. And for it, and yet, because it, uh, being, for it being a sequel after the last Muppet film, that is the Muppets, I think it's really good. And, for the for Muppets Most Wanted, well, I give it uh, I give it uh, eight out of ten stars. That's uh, eight out of ten stars. There we go, eight out of ten stars for Muppets Most Wanted. I think it's really good, and 
you know, I love it. And you guys let me know what you think of Muppets Most Wanted. Because, again, for me, I love it and I enjoy it. So, anyway, so, again, 8 out of 10 stars for Muppets Most Wanted. I hope you guys enjoyed this review video. More new review videos coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward. And more to come. You know, the Muppets Marathon is still continuing. And one more thing to be reviewed, uh, to be reviewed straight, from the, straight from the Muppets. Stay tuned. Peace out.